All right, folks, welcome to another date on the Journalist Hangout Show. I am Citizen Jones Usen, and today on the program, death toll in Niger bandits attack rises to 70 as Governor Oyetola cries to Burutai over rising criminal activities in Oshun. PDP picks Abaribe as senior, I mean, Senate Minority Leader, Bwacha as Deputy Minority Leader, and later on, this one, former Governor Fayoshe slams Obasanjo hails Buhari for honoring MKO Abiola. I'm hanging out with Ishmael Omikwidon. I, I greet you. I greet you, Citizen. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. And that's true. <laughs> no less so, Afolabi Akiola. Welcome. It's a pleasure, sir. Okay. So, the team is ready. I hope you are. Let's tell you this. You know, society prepares the banditry and the bandit carries out the act. The freewheeling attitude of bandit, bandits continues to drive Nigerians crazy around the country. The news from Niger State is so, so, so depressing. Indeed, bandits unleashed complete mayhem when they attacked eight villages in the Shiroro local government area of the state. The death toll has risen to 70, as I just said, and an estimated 1,000 people displaced, while hordes of injured ones were taken to hospitals in Kuta, Erena, and Zumba towns. I hope I got those sounds right. Mm -hmm. Now, meanwhile, the southwest state of Oshun is facing unspeakable dire security challenges, so much so that Governor Adegboega Oyetola is enlisting the support of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukuru Boratai, in speeding up action on a joint security uh, team to tackle the menace. We have one or two things to show you. We have a clip to show you. Please watch on. My state, Oshun, used to be very peaceful, it used to be known as the most peaceful state, particularly in Nigeria. But we were having some series of um, harm robbery, kidnapping coming up. And I believe that there's a need for us to have a joint effort among the security agencies particularly. We know the impact of insecurity uh, across the country. What the insurgents or the criminals, the bandits especially, uh, the terrorism that we're experiencing, is for them to win the populace, to win the people on their sides. And uh, if we sit aloof and then we just remain and be confronting the uh, war fighting efforts, you know, we may end up uh, not achieving the desired results. So we need to move closer to the people. All right, then, I Ishmael, you know, let's get going. You know, it is said if a thing like this takes place, you do something. And if you are doing something, you need to do something else. We have gotten to that stage. Yeah, um, from the reports uh, we read, uh, it appears the attack started on Sunday and uh, all through uh, Thursday. Now, the question you first ask is, how come they operated without challenge for those number of days? That is one. Two, from my interaction with uh, a few locals in the state, they are suggesting that um, those bandits were coming from uh, a town called uh, Alawa in Rafindadi. Rafindadi is a boundary town between Niger and Kassina. According to them, they said they are cattle rustlers and um, they were moving with their loot. And so when they got to the, those areas, they were stranded. Now, out of fear that probably maybe the villagers may come after them, they now decided to launch uh, the attack. Unfortunately, by yesterday, the police commissioner and the deputy governor attempted you know, going there, but they couldn't reach the place because I was told that um, between Kuta and those areas where those things happen mm -hmm. is about uh, two, three hours, and it's not motorable. You have to go through motorcycle. And so, uh, as we speak, the state government and the security agencies in the state have not been able to actually assess 
the extent of damage, let alone know how to confront you know, the, 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 the bandits. Unfortunately, one man that has been in constant touch with the villagers, uh, that is uh, Senator David Umuru. Okay. Because uh, the area falls within Niger East. By yesterday, he spoke to some of our colleagues, and he had planned to live with some of our colleagues to the, the trouble, trouble spot today. Unfortunately, he lost his election this morning at the Supreme Court. So I find it even difficult to even reach him. And with what has happened to him, I doubt if uh, he will be willing to take up this challenge because by the judgment of the Supreme Court, he's no longer the senator representing you, you smile, but Indonesia we, we say governance or government, if you like, is a continuum. Uh, it is, but you see, one, one the thing... The incoming man must feel the same heat. I hope so. I pray so. The problem we have is that no two different individuals are the same. Okay. David Moru, because of his relationship with the people over time, the locals have direct access to him so that they feed him directly on the happenings. And usually when things happen like that within the vicinity, he himself mobilizes security and takes a few of our colleagues along to, mm. you know, to go there. Not everybody, we, if the police commissioner of the state and the deputy governor could not get there as I yesterday. Yeah. So you can imagine the man who is just coming, who is just, who will be probably sworn in in July when. And, the, and, the and time is of the essence. It is of the essence. I, I, I follow me. Mine is, as I said at the beginning, when a group of bandits are having a free reign uninterrupted, it, it, something is wrong. Something is wrong. Uninterrupted for, for days. This is absolutely a, a sad moment in, in the history of Nigeria. It's unfortunate that uh, we're not even dealing with foreigners. We are dealing with Nigerians killing Nigerians. And I think, in my opinion, as far as this uh, issue is concerned, intelligence gathering must be you know, invested heavily on. Because if you, are, if, if, you, if you want to be proactive, I think the best way is to, of course, invest heavily on intelligence gathering. Because before yeah, an attack is it's made, there must, have been a pre there must have been preparation. Attack cannot be, cannot be you know... So uh, sudden. Yeah. So you it's, know. it's not uh, a uh, sudden uh, thing. It's planned. It's planned ahead. So being proactive enough is part of intelligence gathering. I think Nigeria, the, the, the level of criminality in our society is becoming more sophisticated. So when something is hot like this, it requires a sophisticated approach to match the serious security concerns in Nigeria. And, and time is of the essence. And time is of the essence. So it has to be well planned. And uh, of course, um, condolences to, to, to the bereaved families as, yes. as at the moment. Condolences. Yes. Uh, and and, and the, another benumbing angle is these situations are avoidable. Now, I'm looking at Niger Ismail. Niger is bounded by Katsina, Katsina Kaduna, Kebi, Kaduna, Kebi, and, 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 part of, uh, and on, the, on the east by Benue, Benue yeah. and so on. So that these people, people could cross these lines and not being uh, challenged is uh, what, what uh, hits me hard. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, it's not uh, for me. I don't really know. What exactly is the problem with our security, you know, uh, the, the, the challenges? Yeah, the challenges. Because before I talk about that axis, right from when I was schooling in Kaduna, there's a particular spot, they call it Kateri, where they rob on daily basis between Kaduna and Abuja. That same spot, they had been robbing there since the 90s. As we speak, they still rob that same spot. Now, the question you now ask is, is it that those who are supposed to take charge of the surveillance and securing the place, is it that they don't know what to do, or deliberately they just decide to leave their or hands? If, now, if, look, if look, a, talk, a, a, a particular spot is identified as a hello, 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 hello. obviously, I hello, 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 hello. Hello. President directed that um, uh, security operatives should move into Casina. 
ordinarily they should know that once these bandits face fire from Casina, they will move to somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. And the places they are likely to move to, it's either Brunigwari or the Niger, you know, state as is where we you know where they are moving. But you see, the problem with us is that we we don't uh, we are not usually on the offensive. Mm. We allow them to attack. We now Amen. prepare to that, go and defend. It. And you see that kind of uh, strategy is not been working, and it will never and work. And the land mass in the north is. Oh, uh, you can is, say that. You, you mm. can say that again. You can yeah. say that again. Afalabi, take us to. Oshun State, which the governor said used to be a peaceful environment, so the narrative is changing. Uh, Still part of what we are saying. But it's, uh, sad enough, that's my state. I'm from Ikpitu Ijecha in Oshun State, All right. precisely from Uriadi local government. You know, Iwaraja is also uh, a on that spot. spot. Okay. And I think about two days ago, I called the, uh, the honorable representing uh, my assembly in the Axis Oriadi constituency, Honorable Baba today, Desmond Oju, and I, and I told him that in your agenda, security of lives and properties should be, should be, should be your priority yeah. as, far as, as far as I'm concerned. And I also called the, uh, the Oluri Bola Gumbiadi, who of course is the wife of the, of the king of my hometown from Ipidu Jesha, you understand that because sometimes royalty has a way of excelling. If uh, you are able to converse a brilliant argument for security uh, with the power of the other room, that sometimes the role of traditional it's rulers. Called, uh, pillow talk. Yes, pillow talk. Yeah, but but, but um, Afalabi, you know, royalty, even in, in the traditional setting, yes. they have spies. The, the, those yeah. things have been yeah, there for, those for, traditional for, for ages. Yeah. 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 You see, that, that, I, I don't know. Sorry, that, 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 I think, that. again, I, I can feel the sympathy of the governor, who, of course, is an alumnus of the University of Lagos, in red finance and, uh, and insurance. He, and I ensured, uh, and the commerce of any state is more of under threat, uh, under threat yeah. if security of lives and property cannot be guaranteed in that environment. The governor is from a rugby And 80% of people from his own base are people who love adventures. They are farmers all over. Not only in the state, they also go as far no, as neighboring states yes. to engage in farming. If people can no longer go to farm and they can't do normal things they do, then I think you, you should imagine the kind of heat the governor will be feeling from his own front. Yeah. So the issue of, of security should be extended beyond meeting the uh, chief of army staff. The role of traditional rulers in those environments are also very key. Because we also have local hunters. Mm -hmm. Even if you bring the best of security experts, those who have been on ground for ages oh, yeah. are very instrumental to key information about the terrain, about the people, about what they think they should do. So the governor needs and to... And there are traditional ways of dealing, of with, the dealing with them. Native security intelligence is oh, very yeah. key. Oh, yeah. So the, 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 the Osho state... Uh, but, but they can't be in... It. Well, we are talking about changing times. Yes. Um, the native intelligence gathering system is also under threat because the firepower, the challenge is, is changing too. I understand. Yeah. So if information are provided... They, they can be overwhelmed. They might not even be on the attack. They can gather because hunters go to all these areas. Because the moment you allow uh, people of this nature to have settlement, to have a base where people can be captured, yeah. because uh, I, I told a friend that uh, we need um, we need uh, security vaccines, intelligence vaccines, intelligence to 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 cope this virus, this security virus before it gets out of hand. So if Things like this are not addressed at initial stage by ensuring that it's all encompassing. Mm -hmm. Both the governor and people at the level of uh, legislative harm and uh, people at the track. Because now, the security vote of most state governors is now being properly utilized in this situation. So we have to put but things it, it in perspective. Can only hope so. Ishmael, he can only hope so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, the thing is, in Bruno State, at the heat of the Boko Haram challenge, Civilian JTF came in handy. Okay. And they proved to be very, very efficient and effective. And what that means is that when you engage the locals to assist the security agents in combating crime, there is every likelihood of achieving success. We commend the governor for running to the chief of army staff. 
as a matter of fact, from the reports I read, it was more like before his physical appearance there, mm. he had written letter. Yeah. Yeah. a letter. Yeah. Yeah. So he had to follow, probably maybe after writing the letter, he did not see any uh, action from the chief of army staff. So he had to follow it up, you know, by visiting physically at least, let the man know the enormity of yeah. the challenge, you know, at hand. Mm -hmm. But beyond running to the chief of army staff, the state government must also devise means of putting together, you, you can call it any name, whether um, neighborhood watch, whatever you call yeah. it. For me, I believe very strongly that those kind of outfit will assist the conventional uh, security otherwise agencies. Otherwise, you're saying traditional in, in fathers coming, will come into the picture yeah, here. Yeah, they have yes. to. They have to. You know, in the past, in the past, when a stranger gets into a community, the first place is the traditional to, is the is the palace palace or the home of the village head or whatever yeah. you yeah. call it. And there's a reason for you it. Know? And there's a reason for that. The reason is that so that they can know that okay, we have a stranger, and we know who the stranger is staying with. Good. And the moment the stranger start exhibiting uh, actions that are not in sync with, you know, mm -hmm. what is known within yeah. the community, they quickly nip it can, in the bud. Can, can but these days, people come in and go out I was anyhow. Going, Afalabe, can we then say that uh, the 21st century is too sophisticated for um, this thing we are talking about? We, it, it's too archaic. We, 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 wisdom, um, in fact, native wisdom is even more superior than uh, uh, the, this uh, modern day intelligence. Yeah, the, 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 intelligence. Yes, the, the nativity of wisdom is ever relevant. Because what the governor has said is that uh, they will provide the equipment, of course, despite the paucity of funds in Osho State, and I'm sure most state governors will also claim that, and all that will provide patrol vans and all that. But beyond patrol, is the involvement of people who are on ground to provide useful information. Because mind you, if there are no conspiracy, if there are no collaborators among people on ground, it will be very difficult again for people who are coming to even invade and engage in criminal activities to excel. So let we must be on the same page. Let, let me ask you this. I hope you will understand it. Is it necessarily true that there are people gaining by all this of course. Wahala. See, I, I, must be, I must be honest <laughs> with you. Have you, you you've heard it too? Yeah. Uh, I, I must be honest with you. Even the, I think one third of the heavenly angels will left with the devil. The devil has uh, more uh, supporters in terms of economic gains. Mm. So because, again, there is high level of poverty in the land. There is so much poverty in the land. The level of unemployment is on the alarming rate. So in this situation, uh, money speaks different languages. Money also understands criminality. So I am not surprised uh, that, that, that... That's your governor meeting that, that, the chief of my, army staff. So yeah. I'm not surprised that there are people who, who also benefit from inflicting pains on, on others. So patriotism yeah. has been assaulted in our environment. Ishmael, so you make money from spilling people's blood and you spend such money? Uh, uh, citizen, no compunction? Uh, citizen Joe, you see, from the day, if, if in Nigeria, knowing fully well that a drug is fake and is capable of killing his fellow Nigeria, and he's uh, uh, still bringing them in to sell, I mean, what more do you, I mean, more than more than bringing in fake it? drugs. There, there I, I, hear, I hear our people, unscrupulous Nigerians, yeah. will go there, ask them, to um, even do, uh -huh. you, 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 you understand, you know, so the, the thing is, there are, there are patriotic, there are pa there are patriotic Nigerians mm. who also exhibit this patriotism and sincerity in whatever they do. But you see, it appears we have more of the unscrupulous ones in our midst. Let me quickly also add that if we believe the theory that the scramble for good mining in Zamfara he is partly responsible for the banditry. It means that the governor of, of Oshun State must brace up. Because I understand. The I un deposits. Yeah, I understand. The gold deposits you know, in Oshun. We, we yeah. have the it's uh, also you know, gold de de mm. deposit in Oshun. Mm. So it is, it, it is possible, it is likely that those who are disengaging from Zamfara, 
Because you see, this thing is like a cartel. They have links all over. It is possible that those who have been, who have been dislodged from Zafra are already moving. Because the, the, the style of kidnapping in the Southwest is not different from the modus operandi it, it, in the my, North. It, let us grant what you have, you have said is, quote, the, the phrase is now moving. It's moving. They don't move singly. Yeah, yeah. So how they can they move in, group. the, in groups and they are not suspected? And, and, and I think again... Look, my, look at the map. My, my, my worry is, the is, my worry is, if there are no conspiratorial uh, involvement in the security apparatus of our country, because the national anthem must be reviewed. I pledge to Nigeria, my country, mm -hmm. to be faithful, loyal, and honest. I don't the, know the, whether that one uh, is uh, clear. Uh, I don't the, know the, whether the, that The current the, the anthem the, is not the Palava, <laughs> neither is the old the, the, the one. Is, so it, I, I, it's the, man, the Nigerian inside of inside you. Of so, I, so I don't know whether there is, because that is theoretical, I don't know the, whether there is a practical involvement of that national anthem. Among Nigerians and those who are security. Let me ask you, why did you change the old anthem? Uh, well, uh, the, 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 <laughs> you, you don't know. No. You don't know. <laughs> the issue it, is that the will, the yeah. will to be patriotic, should be a, 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 an assignment, and for all Nigerians. Right, beginning with you. Let's begin to take it home. So start from Niger, and uh, to to, to Osho, Osho State. and of course you know, almost every state is vulnerable. Yes. As we sit here. Look, but I think uh, my, my my take on this is that. There should be a Southwest uh, Security Summit by the governors because the, the states are also, we have neighboring states around us. Uh, there uh, should may, be not. May, may, may I tease you a little? What we are told the Are Honor Khan Kamfo is doing, you invite? Are Honor Khan Kamfo. Ghani, Chief Ghani Adams. And I know him, I know him by reputation. Yeah, but yeah, I, but he, I hear. He's planning something. No, no. What, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying, I'm talking about the state, the state, uh, the, the state resources and all that mm. should be, and the governors involved at the highest echelon should should understand that there is strength in unity. If we are integrated in terms of security summit, mm. the north can have, the southwest can have, so that we can be on the same page. There is nothing wrong in sharing intelligence info, you know, yeah. information among. Yeah. So whatever is happening in Oshun State. The uh, state should also be involved. So it's a national thing. But the only way to go about it is yeah. to ensure that we are all on the same page. Ishmael? Well, I, first, let me quickly add that I, in as much as I commend uh, the area on Akakam for, for its initiative, uh, I want it to be moderated so that it doesn't result into ethnic yeah, clash another. at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. That is one. Two, beyond Southwest Governors meeting, Government at the state and federal level must be willing and ready to commit enormous resources into acquiring equipment to make these people work. Because most times, it's not as if the police are not willing to work most times, yeah. but they don't have the tool to work yeah. with. At, at the same time, something must be done about the fifth columnists, because it, it will always be there. It will always be there, and they can easily be fished out. They can easily be fished out, and I have interacted with victims that have confirmed to me that, you know, there are actually, uh, you know, call me involvement. For yeah. example, there was one that was kidnapped on Abuja Kaduna Road. Now, he was driving with the brother. I think the brother escaped. They, ki they, they kept him. But he lied to the kidnappers that the man who escaped is not known to him, that the man just gave him a ride. Now, when the man got to Kaduna, the man went to the police station to report that his brother had been kidnapped. And the next day, the kidnappers had to challenge the, the man they were holding his ear. But you lied to us that uh, uh, this man is not your brother. So how come you uh, went how to? did he get to know? That is to confirm to you that there are some of them who are working so, so with I, this I, I think, sir, so. my yeah. worry is, if we are talking about whether look out foreign investment, and the security of lives and properties cannot be guaranteed in any of these states. Mm. Considering the fact that the IGR of, of most of these states is at embarrassing level, then I'm afraid. So I think something must be done on security. So that 
uh, both foreign and direct investment can make sense. Um, because the moment people no longer go to their farms, because the majority of them are subsistence farmers, you, you, there you is know, so much you trouble. Know, you know, one country that comes to mind here, mm -hmm. the richest country on the planet in Africa, <laughs> the DRC, the Democratic, Democratic Republic, Republic of, of Congo, Congo, very ri richer than all yeah, the states, yes. you know, than America, all the mineral stones, the, the gems are underneath the soil, but they cannot exploit it to advantage because of what we are yeah, saying. Well Gentlemen, we, we must meet, um, uh, move, move on, but one thing, one thing to tell fifth columnists, please enjoy it while the game is on. When the fallback, when the backlash comes, be ready. You know, still to come, PDP picks Abaribe as Senate Minority Leader, Bacha as the deputy. You want to stay on for that. All right, then, let's uh, keep it going. You know, the Senate leadership positions are becoming more defined. And after the first four positions went, went to the ruling APC, the main opposition, PDP, settled for the minority and deputy uh, minor, minority leadership positions and after a meeting of the National Working Co Committee of the party, Senator Enyinaya Abaribe emerged the minority leader replacing Biodum Olujimi and Senator Emmanuel ba Bwacha became his deputy. Now, he is of Taraba uh, and um, other officers from the PDP ranks include Senators Philip Aduda of the FCT and uh, he is the minority whip and Clifford Odia, the Deputy Minority Whip. The team at the Red Chamber is gradually taking shape and the game can begin in earnest. Yeah, I, I think um, they have adjourned to resume, I think, July 2nd. Hopefully, before then, the APC2 would have uh, sought themselves out as per who takes the Senate leadership position the deputy leader, the minority, of the, reps the whip, okay. deputy okay. minority whip, we, yeah. you know, seen in the, for us of reps, I think PDP is supposed to meet today. Yeah, they are meeting know, to, as we speak. Uh, to, yeah. to, to, to decide and, you know, those who take. I think um, the, the PDP Senate uh, selection process, for me, appears uh, tidier this time around than what we had in uh, 2015. Uh, I think in 2015, uh, we had a fresher who... Was it against the run of play? It was against the run of play because uh, he was not supposed to be the minority. That I'm talking of uh, the center from Akwaibo State. He was not supposed to be by any standard. But somehow, and you know, the funny <laughs> aspect of mm -hmm. uh, that selection process was that the man whom many had tipped for the position, that is uh, Senator James Manager, the election was oh, held by Elsa. From, from, by, no, from Delta. From Delta, yeah. The election was held in his house, and he was defeated right in his house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, so at that point, he, he, those who wanted to intervene could not intervene. But let, let me quickly add that um, Abaribe, as an individual, has been eyeing that position. And uh, the, the way PDP went into the election, divided, show very clearly what, show very clearly that some persons, you know, were working for their own, uh, you know, individual, you know, interest. Because if a Primado had emerged Deputy Senate President, for example, there was no way a Bible would have emerged <laughs> you know, let, 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 let me tease you a little. Is it the, should the party not have been part of it the, in determining who comes out? It's a party. I, I think from what played out this time around, it's like more, even the party leadership, majority of them were not in support of Ekwemadu running for the WC presidency this time around. Unlike what happened so in what, 2015. What, what threw him up? Well, from what I gathered, uh, circumstances. One, from the beginning, PDP were wary of putting anybody forward for the position. Like one of them said around uh, April or so, he said, uh, 
we are not sure if we are ready to uh, to witness the type of turbulence mm. we witnessed between 2015 and 2019 simply because we had one of our own, you know, as uh, deputy. So he said we are not considering the option. And I think up till Monday <coughs> night, up till Monday night, there was nothing to show that Equimadu was going to run. But at some point, when some APC leadership and the uh, PDP guys were discussing, as a matter of fact, they met Equimadu in person and said, look, please leave, leave this position for us. And he said, well, he has no issue with it, but why don't you give the position to somebody from my zone in your party? In 2015, you said our people did not do well in APC. But if you look at the votes you garnered in 2019, you have more votes in 2019 than you had in 2015. Mm. So why don't you give the position to somebody from our zone? So they said, okay, they will look for something else for the people in the South. And I said, okay, assuming we concede, we cannot allow Omar Gigi to emerge on the post. Because allowing him to emerge on the post will be that we are consenting to his uh, desecrating oh, yeah. the hallowed oh, yeah. you know, chamber. chamber. I think they couldn't agree on that. And uh, Epinife put up herself to want to run. And some of the members felt that, look, she's not been consistent over the years. Mm. You know, she was in PDP when court decided against her. She ran to APC. Somehow APC also denied her the ticket. She ran back to PDP. And even before 2019 election, she had already picked the ticket of APC to run. Yeah, yeah. The moment will be a match as the running mate to article, she ran back to yeah. PDP. So some of the members now felt that, look, for this type of character, if we put her forward, our friends in the APC will not take us you know, serious. Yeah, so yeah. I think at the end of the day, it was like, OK, since you are experienced, you have been there, we'll give it a try. And if PDP had not decided against him, he probably would have won the deputy okay. okay. president. But that's behind us now. Yeah, it is. Afolabi, I, I, I you know, when you hear things like, okay, APC, the first four positions, that's the third citizen, fourth, fifth, and sixth positions belong in your party. So no excuse, no excuse, and, and so on. Um, how does that strike you? <clears throat> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good one. And I think um, uh, that should also give room for uh, being rubber stamped. The fact that every one of That's us... That's also another sentiment expressed. So, so the, the issue is that uh, we, we can be on the same page to disagree and agree. Good, but let me also uh, put it this way. If the presidency and the National Assembly yes. uh, leadership uh, on the same page. Does it amount to rubber stamping? Like, like I said, the, the, the criticism, when it is constructive, is different from... Depends uh, on who, dis who, 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 who determines that. So, who, who, who determines so, so, that. so we must uh, uh, agree, sometimes disagree and all that. The fact that we are even twins, even twins disagree, mm. born by the same parent, the same time. So, I think Nigerians will appreciate um, a robust argument, and I think the all progressive Congress is a challenge to them too. That the fact that we are on the same page, we are everywhere, we should be able to perform excellently. We should portray ourselves in such a way that, you know, um, a syllogism will be the order of the day. We should be able to canvass brilliant argument again. Dividend of democracy should be on top of the game. Otherwise, still going back there. No excuses. No, 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 no excuses. I, I, I no think, excuses. I think the, the beauty of what transpired, I, 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 Obasanjo tried it in between 1999 and 2003 or there about before he started having issues with the leadership. What they do is that there is a caucus of the leadership of the National Assembly. Mm. They meet with the executive. For example, maybe the executive has a bill that he's bringing. That, that will impact on the economy. Now, they will have to provide a platform to explain that into the leadership of the National Assembly. So that by the time it's coming to the National Assembly, it will not look strange. Also, it will also help, for, for example, uh, the Electoral Act, for example. The Electoral Act was passed four times. Mm. And the president refused to sign. 
Four times. Four times. The president refused to sign. We don't expect to see such a thing. But you see, the, the point you, you also ask yourself, why did the president refuse to sign? Is it pure out of uh, malice? Or the answer we, is in we, the question. So it, it, the, the, the point I'm making it, now it is it was that, look, pointed out that some some wording and they and corrected it. But let us not go into mm. that because that is not the cause of the, the, the matter here. <laughs> now the point I'm making now is that there is no way because the president blamed the National Assembly for some of his feelings. Assuming without considering that it is correct, because the truth is that if you go to the statistics, the Eighth National Assembly that I just wandered off had performed all the previous National Assembly that we have had in, in the terms of in, in terms the of area bills, of, uh, in terms of past number of bills passed, <coughs> two ones for, for that matter, in terms of uh, a critical intervention, you know, in the economy, and but, but you see the president. Be, Look, the first budget that was passed, the National Assembly had to bend backward to accommodate Mr. President. Because I recall that it was after the bill has been signed that corrections were made. Ordinarily, ordinarily, after making those corrections, they are supposed to return it back yeah, and it. pass it. it. But they that's didn't it. do it just to allow him, you know, ha you know, uh, you know, have uh, have his way. Yeah. You know, to the best of my knowledge. The only major confirmation that the Senate denied Mr. President was that of Man, the EFCC. The EFCC chairman. And for me, there's no way I can blame the Senate for that because Mr. President sent a nominee. The Senate asked for security report. DSS sent a damning security report. DSS reports to Mr. President. From the DSS, Ishmael, there were two reports. Do you remember? That was, at, but when, that was the first time. But mm. the second time, the DSS boss came and said they were standing by their first report yeah. that this man is not fit and proper person to man the FCC. For crying out loud, how will you now accuse the Senate of being responsible for that? If I were the man in charge, I would fire the DSS boss immediately. Because it's like challenging is, my authority. Is he not performing? Well, I mean, I mean the EFCC boss, in your estimation. Well, so far, so far, he has tried, mm. but there's room for improvement. Always, all the time, you know. So, um, the team. I hope you won't begrudge me this. My old secondary school, the Lagos Baptist Academy, used to have when when we out we were out playing principal's cup. If you remember, what's the matter with the team? The answer would be the team is all right. Is it? Is the team all right now? Well, by, I think um, apart from being on the same page, sir, by intellectual standard, I'm impressed with those at the hands of affairs. Uh, because, because the Senate president has been there f since 1999, yes. no less so the speaker. Yes, I think what the I'm saying is the, the, the experience. Um, three years, so. Yes, yeah. the, the experience. Yeah. The, yeah. the experience over 16 years. Yeah. yeah. The experience good, but again, the intellectual, uh, you know, capacity to deliver, is mm -hmm. also is also there because sometimes if you prioritize sentiment over competence, there will be disaster. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the because you are trying to you know manage the affairs of people with fecundity of imaginations and all that. So if you don't have what it takes to even you know earn respect. You air respect, you don't command it. It's not a military thing. Mm. So those, the first among equals are the legislative arm. In my understanding, uh, have the capabilities to even pilot the affairs uh, of the And day. so you expect the opposition to be the, the, no, uh, less, no less, no uh, less. I think the um, way the election even occurred, the way mm. it was conducted, uh, for opposition to even have a way now, because the, the opposition was even part of the emergence. Mm -hmm. So you, you can't, you can't, so you there's can't. There's a synergy. There's, there's a, synergy. a synergy. So if you there's were part of the process that made, that, 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 that made the first among equals to mm. be there, to me, in, in all honesty, for you to now be an opposition genuinely. All right, uh, Ishmael, uh, drive the last nail. Um, we look at the budget coming in time mm -hmm. and getting passed, uh, scrutinized in time. And... Uh, some capital projects, if they come, you are not 
nailing them? Well, we, we want to see. Yeah, I, I, I think it all depends on Mr. President. Uh, I'm not sure if, um, if it depends. By now, by now, if not that they have gone on adjournment, I would have said that. Despite the fact that they are on adjournment now, mm. I expect that as they are resuming, they will tweet Mr. President's list of. Okay. Now I'm talking about the opposition. From the way they, time is yeah, tight, from yeah. the way they started, from the way, they, there is no way there won't be opposition. Mm. The way the Senate President and the Speaker uh, put yeah. together the team of committee chairmen mm -hmm. will determine whether the National Assembly will be stable in the okay. coming days, weeks, and Thank months. Thank you. We, we must move on. But, but to me, uh, to both houses, it is said that talent will take you from A to Z, but imagination takes you everywhere. So we expect uh, a National Assembly that will be full of fireworks, you know. Okay then, whether in or out of public office, Immediate past governor of Ekiti State is the newsman's delight anytime. The Afao Ekiti, is that is that how you call it? Afao. Afao, Afao Ekiti, born second governor of the state, on Thursday took a not too shocking swipe at some would say the old enemy, former president Ulusha Gumabasanjo, over a deserving posthumous honor for the late winner of the and now, June 12, 1993, President shall election. On his verified Twitter handle, Fayoshi said, let me, let me quote him, honoring MKO Abiola by at M. Buhari is to Abbasanjo's shame, end quote. Now, if the word here is ego, may I just add that ego has an ugly way of hurting you. When you become obsessed with the one person you don't like, you'll be blind to millions who like you. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yes, that, that's correct. Uh, you know, uh, there, there is no way Fayoshi can like Obasanjo <laughs> because uh, or Obasanjo Fayoshi. Obasanjo Fayoshi. Well, 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 but for Fayoshi, because I, I was at the function where some persons were, you know, prodding him to go and get on. You know, he said it openly, and I'm sure Obasanjo would have, you know, would have had him. You know, there's no way, there, there's no, but you see, what he said, for me, I believe in the philosophy that says the rightness or wrongness of anything depends on the situation. Mm. Perception. If, per, yeah, if Obasanjo had gone ahead to honor MK Abiola, how would the other parts of the country have received it? Mm. Because we have to look at this, these are issues. For example, when OPC was threatening the unity of this country, Obasanjo was decisive. He was decisive. But it is unlikely if any other, any other leader would have behaved the way he behaved. When Yerima Zamfara, the then governor of Zamfara, when he introduced Sharia, Obasanjo a Christian from the south. He didn't kick against it. But I remember. No, no, he said something. He said, he said, he, he said, political it die. Sharia. He said, he political, said it's a political Sharia, Sharia and it die. would die a natural death. Did it die? It, it did. Oh, really? It did. <laughs> go and ask. I, I go to Zambra today and ask them whether they are. I think uh, or not. In, in this scenario, one, two things played out. Um, IBB was part and parcel of those who install or bass on job. I think immediately he came out of prison. I've heard that a number that. of times. He, that was right. And then, then for for Obasanjo to even honor June 12th uh, from a man who annulled June 12th, uh, it's a bit difficult. But for someone, uh, would would it have been like a slap? It, it will. It, in fact, it, 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 it will, because such a fellow would have been invited to Eagle Square. Yeah, yeah. And and it definitely you can you it, before history. Because there are two judges of human action, conscience. And before history, if you invite such a fellow at that hour, will he have ordinarily on moral ground oh turn no. up? So if B can, can, the can best we way, say, can we say not not uh, drawing for your from your poetic license? Would you say, in all honesty, they were not invited for uh, this? 
Yeah. I'm sure the way is right. I'm yeah. sure the oh, way. Official, anyway. So I'm no, looking I'm sure at another. No, no, no. That's, I I'm, just I, wanted I, to thrash that. I, I'm out. looking at I'm another sure hand right for for Buari to get back at IBB. Okay, who, to, you, to, to you, that's like getting Yes, back. to get back at IBB, who, of course, Topu is regime, and who had not died in that election. The best gift for revenge is to even honor MK Abiola on June 12th. Okay. Before history. Because sometimes you, you might want to get back at anybody, either by slapping or anything, but you can get back by trying to let history cement revenge. Yeah, as they say, you rub it in, Ismail. You, yeah, yeah, you, you rub it so, in. So, so definitely, because he will have appreciated both uh, the then president of Association for Better Nigeria, Auto Zerebe, and mm. IBB. He will have loved both of them to be in that on, on mm. that occasion. Mm. It would have been very fantastic. But both personalities were not present. Ismail, but we live in a different, a, a, a peculiar jurisdiction. Well, you That's know, why peculiar things happen with, it, and, yeah, uh, with it, us it, and to us. Yeah, you see, you see, we have a pro we have a challenge. I won't call it a problem, and I'm sure. It also drives the way our leaders behave. In Nigeria, when issues occur, we don't look at it dispassionately. We look at it either as a Yoruba man, or as an Igbo man, or as an Aosa man. And by extension, or, as a Christian. As a Christian or a Muslim. Muslim. And they don't talk about some of us traditionally. They don't. Look, when this, uh, <laughs> when this election of senior leadership was coming up, some persons yeah. were trying to play religious card. And I reminded some of my colleagues who were working with some of the big men who were angling. I said, look, remind them, religion has never played a role in the election of National Assembly leaders. And I quickly gave example of Ekurimadu and Mark, both Christians, who ran the Senate for eight years. Yeah. I also yeah. went back to Bankoli and Nafada, yeah. who also ran the House of Reps. And so for me, don't bring religion into it. So the, 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 the so, but, but mischief makers will also they fly will, that flag. They, they did. They did. Up to the morning of the inauguration, there were people who were conversing that there should be religious balancing, mm. you know, in Wh whatever the, that means. Whatever that means, you know. So, so the thing is, Bari must be commended. Whether he believes in it or not, he mm. must be commended for taking that courageous move. You know, when he announced it in June uh, last year, yeah, I think it was June last year. Many said that it was for political reason. He wants to gain well, capital. 2019. I said, well, whether it's to gain capital or not, most Nigerians have been advocating that June 12th should be our democracy day. Let me pause you. Akinola, I hear this. Chief Obasanjo on Wednesday said, Senate pre the president, Senate president, acting CJN, all from the north. Uh, how can you have that kind of an arrangement and be absolutely insensitive to it, those are Obasanjo's words. Buhari, according to him, is driving Nigeria towards disaster and instability, end quote. I think, it, uh, I think I've said this several, several like, If you don't like somebody, there is nothing that person will do that will make sense. He has a right to his opinion, he has a right to his observation and all that. But I think uh, that, that, that is... Um, father, uh, father figure. Uh, that's, in, in critical moments, that, uh, that's, it, it, what you say and what you do matters. Very yeah, well. that, that opinion is, is to me, in fact, let me be honest to you, from what Buari has done, he has invested heavily in the futuristic you know, um, investment for the corporate coexistence of Nigeria as far as June 12th is concerned. But, but quickly, honestly, um, so, so quickly on June, on June 12, 1993, I don't know how young you were, <laughs> but I'm sure you voted. Um, it didn't really matter that we were having a Muslim, Muslim. Muslim. So, so, so no, that, 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 Nigerians that, agreed for one. It is that, that was not. What I said. It did not. Nigerians, are, and you see, for those of us who interact very well and who move around, honestly speaking, most ordinary people don't, don't think of where you come from. Mm. I visited a friend last week in Abuja, Igbo, a Christian. It was time for prayers. I wanted to leave because I wanted to pray. But then we were still discussing, we had not finished. And I asked politely, can I pray <coughs> in your prayer? No, why not? You know, I, and I prayed, I observed my prayers there. So, some of us in our relationships, in our day-to-day -day relationship, those things don't matter. But let me quickly add that Mr. President must be sensitive 
in its appointment. Because so, whether we like it or not, yeah. whether we like it or not, there were some actions. I'm not talking about this because this ones are election. There were some actions the president took in the last four years that showed clearly that he was insensitive to some parts of this country. No okay. doubt about so, that. Uh, we must go. We must go. Come on, Afalabi. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's uh, hold your peace. Um, <laughs> but let, let me thank you very kindly yes. for coming. Uh, Afolabi Akionla. Thanks so much. Uh, Ishmael Omikbidon, thank you for your time. My but pleasure. gentlemen, you know today is day number 165 into the year, so we have 200 days to go. Yes. We pray God to see us. Uh, and and why not? <laughs> thank God. Okay then, everything. that will just about do it for today and the week. But if you missed this program, you may also watch Journalist Hangout on other platforms showing on the screen now and on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. The feedback channel remains the same. Uh, meantime, I'm Citizen Jones Usain. Bye-bye now. Take care of yourself.